continuing our coverage tonight of the shooting of Colorado Springs officer Jem Giselle and the suspect in that case, Karar Al Kamasi, in court for a preliminary hearing today. New size Katie Blaze in the courtroom. So uh, tell us more about what happened today, Katie. Well, that preliminary hearing wrapped up about an hour ago. Both legal teams coming through just a ton of evidence connected to this case. Today, prosecutors and the defense digging deep into what happened on August 2nd when Officer Jem Dizel and Al Kamasi crossed paths. Several officers from the Colorado Springs Police Department brought to the witness stand. One was with Al Kamasi at the scene where the shooting happened, staying with him through the ambulance ride to the hospital and into the ICU. This officer describing Al Kamasi as unresponsive for most of the time. He says, he did get combative in the hospital at one point and had to be restrained. Another officer going through all the visuals from that day, pointing out the pools of blood from both Officer Duzel and Al Kamasi, as well as the multiple casings found from guns at the scene. Another CSPD officer telling the court accounts from witnesses that night. One woman telling police she saw Al Kamasi at two bars in the area, later being rude to an Uber driver and later on hearing several shots in the area. Al Kamasi is being held on a $1 million bond. He faces multiple charges, some of those including criminal attempt to commit murder in the first degree and possession of a weapon by a previous offender. He will be back in court on November 30th at 9 a.m. And of course, we will continue to keep you updated on this developing story. Always watching out for you, El Paso County, Katie Place, News 5.